Hey YouTube, November 20, day 2 of GobbleCon. Um, before I go in, uh, just a quick um, follow-up on yesterday. Uh, Alright, anyway, day 2. Well, like I said folks, a much bigger turnout today. There's actually a line. Then again, it could just be that I'm early. All right, thank you for coming. We are Legendary Senji. We are a New England-based Saramu tribute group. Any of you guys know about the musicals that went on for 12 years in Japan? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to start out doing a couple of songs from the musicals. The first one, I know you're all going to know. And if you didn't know it, the Saramu cast actually sang this song for two seasons of the anime.
to meet Sailor from Mars. I almost said Sailor Jupiter. <laughs> uh, my name is Kelly. Um, I discovered Sarah View by surfing the web, found it on YouTube, uh, which most of you guys can find it too. Just YouTube, they have all the shows up there. Um, I am Sailor Mars, I am Rage Hand, I am the web mistress, and I'm the group's art designer. So I make all the chitties and I make all our pre and stuff like that. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm the original Sailor Neptune of the group. Uh, actually, we changed it to Sailor Saturn because I'm Yeah, I was the original Sailor Saturn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I actually, I discovered the Sailor Moon musicals um, through my brother, actually, who's our Casino Thomas. And at first, I actually thought um, the costumes were kind of actually the most hideous things I'd ever seen. But after a while, you get used to it, and you get used to seeing all the blinding costumes and after someone comes on stage. So now I'm a fan, and I'll sign it. Hi, I'm Jason. I play Tuxedo Kalman. Isn't he cute? <laughs> well, he is so hot. <laughs> um, I play Tuxedo Kalman or Tuxedo Mask in English. Uh, I got into Sailor Moon because, well, I always used to like Sailor Moon as a child. I grew up watching it as a lot of people did. For a lot of people, it was their first anime. And I also love doing theater, so I do musical theater. And this was kind of like the perfect combination of Sailor Moon and musical theater. Um, I guess I discovered it about six years ago online, and um, I've been a big fan ever since. Um, my name's Sarah. I'm the Sam Jupiter. Um, I, actually, before the group, I never actually really knew the musicals at all. <laughs> I knew Sailor Moon first, definitely one of the first animes I ever watched. Um, watching it before school every morning, uh, even though I've learned that the Amer English has completely killed the series. Um, right now, I guess it's a little odd for me being shiny, since I'm usually a cross player, so. <laughs> um, otherwise, I mean, I'm fun and I have a chance to watch it anymore, but I'm in the process. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily. Uh, I play Mercury, obviously. Um, I actually never really got into the Muse until I started listening of them, but that's about it. Um, I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan, so I figured, why not? And I've danced for like 18 years, and so she was looking for people, so I joined, and so actually it's a lot of fun to be in this group, so that's really all I am. <laughs> I'm Brady. I am Sailor Moon, obviously. I learned about Sarah Mew living in Japan in 1994, where I saw my first one. I actually saw several of the musicals. I've seen all four stages. And I am an enormous Sailor Moon fan of everything. That's how I learned Japanese living in Tokyo. So pretty much anything Sailor Moon to me that does not involve the English dub is perfect. Um, <laughs> I've never actually listened to the English dub. You're fortunate. I know. And a few weeks ago, Kelly and I got to meet the original Sailor Moon in uh, New York. She is now the lead singer of Headphones President, which is a metal band. <laughs> I'm a, not making this up. <laughs> it's a experimental new metal band. She grunts screams during like, all the music now. Quite some time. Uh, a couple of little fun facts. There is one song that has now become the Sarah McKean song. It's called La Soldier. It is in every single musical, and it was also used in the anime in the final battle in the R season. If you listen to the Japanese version, you'll hear La Soldier, which is the theme to Mew. The first stage did follow the anime, except they left out the R season, which they did revisit back in the fourth stage. Uh, second stage did not do anything anywhere close to any of Naoko's stories. Third stage, Sailor Moon fought Dracula. Uh, again, not making this up. Uh, in the fourth stage, the last stage, Sailor Moon, who got cast, was 12 years old. She was actually younger than, I think, Saturn. She could dance, which is why uh, I think they cast her. But going on into the fourth stage, you, they did a couple of originals. They did Black Lady, which was their art tribute, and they brought back the very first Chibi Moon to be Black Lady. Uh, the first Chibi Moon was also Chibi Chibi, so she just kind of played out the pink-haired characters. Yeah, it's stars. I'm sorry. Uh, 97. And as you can.
can see the costumes and the wigs did get better. Much better. Go ahead and keep going for what else we have. Ah, in the fourth stage, they actually they brought in the five witches along with Professor Tomoe. Um, <laughs> this is Gaiden, the very first musical ever, and poor Anza had the cutie moonrod of death. That thing was enormous. I have no idea how they hit it on stage. It's her size. Uh, also, one of my favorite parts of Gaiden is where Sailor Moon, without a weapon, proceeds to punch Queen Beryl to the music. <laughs> she does. It's great. And Queen Beryl walks around with a big turd stick. Tell me if you want some good, drunken fun, watch Gaiden. Or if you're under 21, if you just want some good fun, watch Gaiden. <laughs> this is Marina. This is, um, I'm, yes, this is Marina. She's the very fourth Sailor Moon. She's the one who started when she was 12. We like Saturn. We like Saturn a lot in this group. The uh, Shikeno, fourth stage, if you look at uh, the one in the front, she was the longest running Neptune before she went over into her role as Jedi. The Starlights, they were wonderful in the first stage, I love them. They were absolutely nothing like the manga or the anime, they were all extremely crazy. Um, some of the stuff they did, it, they, they were just there to cause chaos. There was no other point to them, except to wear those. And there is Miss Marina again in her classic fuku, Galaxia. She's just amazing in the movie. There's really nothing to say about that. Final first stage. That was the very last performance of Sailor Moon, the musical. The anime had just ended, and they did not think there would ever be another performance again. It was very sad. Naoko it was the only time she came out onto a performance, and she gave all of the cast members flowers. And I was fortunate enough to be in the audience. <coughs> Um, Tuxedo Come In in the musicals dies every show. <laughs> no, there's one show where he doesn't die, so who dies to set. Is that when he was on the bus? Uh, no, it's the night, the I know Senshi, happy event. Yeah. <laughs> and see, Usagi is very happy after waking up from a very evil dream to find out that Tux is dead. It's like, yay! This is the fourth stage. Um, they actually brought out Lead Crow and Heavy Metal Papillon for it. In the first stage, they did have Iron Mouse, though. They also made up two new Senshi. They made up Titanium Paraco, which was a little frog, and Pewter Fox, which was a fox, and she was supposed to be the leader. Erica is American. The Sailor Venus is actually American. Went out to Japan, auditioned, and got cast in the Ceremony Musical. She is of Japanese descent, though. Yeah. That's actually um, Set Me Free, the second song we did, the Para Para, that is their ending pose of it. If you look at um, Haruka, that is Nagaki, Nagaki, I can never say her name right. Anyway, now, she was probably the most loved Sailor Uranus in all of the shows. And her Neptune back there was probably the most loved Neptune. And there's our site. If you ever want to come visit us, check us out, audition. As you see, we have some holes here. Uh, you can just come on over.